Cool 98.7 Bismarck Mantan's Greatest Hits. Wish with you at 837. And joining me now from the Bismarck Bucks is Brendan Daly. Hey, Brendan. What's up, Wish? How are you? I am fantastic. I'm so glad you made it back. Now, how are you feeling? Because I know you got hurt a couple of weeks ago. I'm feeling good. I've had um, a good good couple days of treatment. Woke up this morning at 5 a.m. Got my run in down the street from my house. About 6, hit the YMCA. Now I'm here doing an interview with you, so I'm ready to go. It's going to be a good bye week. So you're going to you're going to play in the next game then if you're you're all set. May 6, I'll be 100% ready to go. All right. I'm surprised I'm upset that you that you didn't play. I figured that you were, you know, you were uh you're more of a man than that, Brendan. Come on. Oh, more of a man. Uh, see, I, I made a manly decision by holding myself out so I could be even more manly on May 6th. That's good. So this is, is this the first time you guys have won two games in a row? Yes, it is. So two, I, game, two game win streak. But you know what's better than two? Three. That's right. So you guys have uh, a game coming up on May 6th. That's at home also. At home. Come out. Watch us dominate Sioux City. So now that you've got, uh, you know, a lot of the season under your belt, what is your, what's been like the best part so far of playing with the Bismarck Bucks? Uh, sacking the quarterback. That is, you know, you are good at that, I got to say. And then sacking the quarterback, getting back to the sideline and drinking Gatorade, giving the ball back to Jonathan Bain so he can just light up the scoreboard. That's the best feeling, giving it right back to the offense, right back to Coach Fuller and saying, here you go, go score. And I'm glad Jonathan Bain's healthy, too. He's played for a couple weeks. He was hurt for a little while, too. You guys are getting banged up there on the field. Uh, banged up? Maybe. A little, little maybe, bit. Maybe? A little maybe. bit? Maybe, yeah. But you guys are healthy. Did we're you? healthy. We're ready to go. We're, we're better than ever now. Um, we have great treatment. We're doing, you know, great training. So we're going to be uh, full head of steam coming May 6th. Talk to me a little bit about uh, some of the community interaction you had. I know that after the game, you guys are signing autographs. You guys are hanging out at Bucks. You're going all places all around town. Talk about uh, what your experience like that has been like. I, mean, I don't hang out at Bucks. I go, I go, I sack the quarterback. I do the McGregor walk, and I go home, go to sleep, and then, um, and then I plan my, uh, plan my next move. But being out in the community was great. I mean, just this weekend, we were at all three WalMarts. Um, kind of promoting, you know, something for one of our sponsors, Coca-Cola, and then, you know, signing autographs with the kids, um, doing, um, taking pictures with them. So it's, the community involvement's been great. Just going to Grims Rudd Elementary and, you know, other elementary schools, reading to the kids, playing kickball with them. It's just exciting to see their faces light up with, you know, somebody new and kind of a um, athletic figure in the community. Have you been able to find some downtime just for yourself? What have you done besides just kind of running at 5 a.m.? Running at 5, running at 5 a.m., lifting, and then my downtime will be right after this. Uh, I'll go home, relax for a little bit, maybe watch some film. But this, this whole week for me, like you said, because I was a little injured, you know, I made the manly decision of staying yeah, out. Good, right? good idea. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Wish. <laughs> so uh, this week is really about my uh, preparation. Um, and then I want to go to Black Hills on Saturday, Sunday, see Mount Rushmore. Okay, that's cool. You going to go with anybody? I'm going to go with my roommate, probably Brandon Murphy. All right, very good. I went to Mount Rushmore for the first time uh, last summer. It's a pretty okay. pretty cool experience. They have a lot of other touristy type things on the way up. If you think North Dakota has more billboards than it should have, I feel like, but right near Mount Rushmore, there's like 10,000 billboards. So if you need something to do before or after Mount Rushmore, look, just pick a billboard, pick and, a billboard and look do, at it. do one of those How things. many hours am I away from Mount Rushmore? About six. Six hours. And when I drove there, I had a really cool experience because I, I, I went bright and early. I woke up at like 5 a.m., hit the road, and going towards like western North Dakota, like towards Dickinson, there's this huge thunder and lightning storm. But behind me in Bismarck, the sun was rising, and it was like this awesome sunset ah. be, or sunrise behind me and this crazy lightning storm in front of me. So I actually pulled over to the side of the road to take a picture of the sunrise behind me and the clear sky and the lightning that I was driving towards. <laughs> so I should have been the other way around. I know. I don't know if you'll have the same experience, but Mount Rushmore is pretty cool. You've never been there before? Never been. Yeah. I'm excited. It looks like the pictures. The, pic the okay. pictures are pretty accurate. So, yeah. Yeah, I heard that actually it's actually looks like it's a lot smaller than the, the pictures, but... Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's cool, though. They, they just good. have a little walking path, and it's, it's a good time, so you'll enjoy that. Uh, any, uh, any other road trips planned here? You're about six hours from Minneapolis, and uh, 
Well, you're three hours from Fargo. You could head out. You could eight hours from like Bozeman, Montana. I hear that's a cool town. I haven't mm. been there, though. I am giving one of my teammates, Lakeith Murray, a ride to Minneapolis so he can catch a flight. So, well, there you go. He can make a trip out of that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Brendan Daly from the Bucks. It's. Uh, I'm glad that you came back. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Have me back you. for a third time. I, I would just please. You know where we are, so just walk Perfect. in. Perfect. All right, Brendan Daly from the Bismarck Bucks. Thanks.